Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome, excuse me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, chat managers, for your help. I appreciate it. Hi, Chocolate25LM, Nicholas Lewis, Susan Rotella, Jordan Johnson, Craig Dixon, and ABC. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, yeah, well, the thing uh, today, the hot talk is the Iranian attack on uh, Israel. But uh, let me answer Jockey 25 lms question, since it's a short one. Will affirmative action be reversed, and will DEI be a thing of the past? No, affirmative action, I know uh, a lot of MAGA and people like uh, Stephen Miller, that's their goal, but I don't see that happening. Hi, Teresa Baltazar. So, affirmative action is not going to be reversed anytime soon, no DEI, even if it, once Trump loses the election, all those things are going to get back to normal. It's going to take a little while, but uh, we're going to continue on the path that we were before, making sure everyone has... Uh, as a chance, as a fair chance. Just like Republicans are trying to do to women now, okay, uh, everything is gonna fall back into place. So I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, so that was, my prediction is not, uh, affirmative action is gonna remain the way they are, and DEI will be back to normal. Uh, you know, the day after, I mean, like I said, when, when I first started, the, the big news is uh, Iran, the Iranian attack on Israel. And I was streaming right before this. I said that I thought it was going to be a nut and burger. I didn't think it was going to be very much. And I said that, let me see if it's one of you guys calling. Hi, this is Milo. No, 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 <laughs> not now, I'm streaming, okay? Sorry about that. No, no, I gotta, I, no, I'm sorry. Okay, listen to me, okay. Okay, bye. My friends, those of you who don't know, uh, please don't call, don't call unless I ask you to call. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that at the beginning. I have a lot of new uh, subscribers. And I keep forgetting to explain the rule. Yes, on Monday and Saturday evenings, I answer everyone's you know, questions. Well, not everyone, I, to as many people as I possibly can. I don't know how many of you have seen me. The thing is, uh, you have to post your question on the chat first. Sorry about that. And I have to call your name, otherwise it's gonna be chaos. Okay, so post your question first. I will, you know, because once I'm done, I will be uh, looking for personal questions or political questions, whatever, or pet questions, whatever you have, and then I will answer. Okay, having said that, yes. And you know what? I said, like I said, I was streaming earlier, and I didn't feel it was going to be anything major. Like I've told you, and I believe one or two days after uh, Israel attacked the Iranian embassy or consulate, whatever it was, I said that changed the dynamic of the situation. But I, I don't, I, 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 I'm, I'm not quite sure what I said, but I didn't think anything was going to change. And I did not mention it after that because I kept on looking and I didn't see uh, anything change, nor Iran or any of its praxis, praxis uh, wanting to fight. That's why I didn't bring it up after that. So the attack this evening is, uh, you know, they've been saying for almost since the incident occurred that they were going to retaliate. They don't want to fight. They, you know, if, if you're going to attack somebody, you're going to surprise them. 
you know, or you throw a punch and you didn't think was going to land and it lands. Like I said to everybody before, Iran, the mullahs, they don't want to fight. They have to do something to show that, you know, uh, they're not afraid and they're strong. <laughs> and that's why they did this. But we are on the Gulf and the Gulf. And uh, Israel has the proper weapons to counteract those missiles or drones that Iran, uh, Iran sent their way. You know, in this day and age with advanced technology, okay, you would think, I mean, you tell somebody, I, you know, I have I fired missiles towards you. Even if you didn't, all those sophisticated radar systems, satellite, all that stuff, it takes a couple of hours to get to Israel. Forget it. It's not happening. You know, it, this is just show. Don't get me wrong, if one of them land, you know, in the wrong place, they can kill people. But when I heard it uh, before, was it before or after? After I was done streaming my first stream this evening, I heard they said Iran sent 100 projectiles, let's put it this way. That's nothing for between us and the Gulf and Israel to knock them all off the sky and nothing happened. So I wouldn't worry uh, if, you know. In fact, Iran already said they acted, and it's the, that was the end of their retaliation. That I just heard that right before I came on, right before I started this stream. So don't worry about it. The mullahs are terrified of their own people. They know if they start anything, anything goes wrong, the Iranian people would just do away with them. Yeah, I'm going to try anything. Uh, Ajineda Porter says, Hello, Milo. Someone from my husband's father's side of the family did reach out and wanted to know how she could help him in finding his father. Do you think he'll find out by the end of the year? I, 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 to be honest with you, I feel yes, they will be helpful. But I can confuse time. I can't tell you if the person is going to be, be able to do that by the end of the year. But it sounds reasonable. Okay? So good luck with that. All right. Let's see. I'm looking for questions. Tamberiri says, Milo, I'm traveling to Africa in the next two months. Oh, have fun. Enjoy. That should be a fun trip. George, I can hear Milo. How is my dog, Precious, doing? Would she be okay if we moved? Yeah. I'm not... Uh, I mean, I'm not getting, the, the only thing I'm getting is, I don't know if, uh, how old your dog is, may have cataract or something, uh, but I feel like saying, yeah, the dog is going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> Veronica Stewart says, the House brought the Refrigerator Freedom Act up for a vote. Shaking my head, yep, they're crazy. I read about that. They're not going to own. It's just craziness. Okay. That says, Milo, do you see me keeping this hotel job for the rest of the year? I feel like saying if you want it, yeah. I, I, I mean, those jobs, they take a toll on you after a while. 
you know, the clientele and stuff like that can get to you, but if you don't let that get to you, you'll be fine. You, know, you just let it go off your back, you manage whatever it is, and then you make your money, you go on your merry way. Yeah, you'll last till the end of the year. Uh, let's see. Pankney said, Hamilu, I've been having problems with my left hand right below the thumb. Could you tell me what you think that might be? One second. Okay, the minute I started reading, the first time I read your question, I wanted to make sure I understood it correctly. I'm getting nerve. I, what I would do, I mean, please go to the doctors, okay? It's possibly your back, okay? That's what I feel. I don't know if you experience back pain or something like that. Or uh, some kind of force you probably put on it, but it feels like to me it's coming from your back. So go to the doctors. Uh, they will. It's difficult to diagnose, though. Okay, and also. The, the second thing I'm getting, I don't know if you have blood pressure or something like that. Make sure your blood pressure. Pickney, can you please call me? Hang on a second. Oh, who has blood pressure issues? I'm posting the number. Okay. <laughs> GLC says, I just came to see what Milu had to say about Iran. Have a good day, everyone. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. Mary Johnson says, Milu, I'm having some severe, I'm sorry, health issues. Will I be all right? I feel like saying yes. Uh, I mean, you know, work with your doctors, go to the doctors, stay on top of things, you'll be fine. No, I understand every once in a while we go through those cycles. Okay? So work with your doctor, please. Maria Elena said, will I be able to find a job before the summer? Maria Elena, can you please call me? Here's the number. I don't know who's going to get to me first, though. But... Hi, this is Milo. Hi, this is Marie. This uh, is Pinkney. Okay. Okay, your, the question about your... Do you have back, backache sometimes? Why am I getting back? I have, I have, I have um, a herniated disc in my left, uh, left lower back. That's, that's what's causing, or part of the problem that's causing your th thumb, or does your hand sometimes feel, even if it's slight, tangly? It doesn't feel tingly, but it feels like something in it jumps, like something in it moves. And it sort of kind of takes me by surprise where I would go, oh, you know, it, it has gotten like mild. And right. It, it's getting a little worse. Yeah, it may be, uh, well, have the back check because it can do that. And how about your feet? Where am I getting your feet? Does your feet tangle sometimes? I, I, plants are fasciitis. Oh, okay. No, besides that. Um, it's, it's on top. I have a, a sort of like a burning feeling on my right foot sometimes. Yeah, that's from your back. All those things. But also make sure, I mean, you get, you get your checkup, right? 
Yeah, I have a, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Okay, yeah. So just tell them about it. Just make sure they stay on top of it. But how's your blood pressure? That's the third thing I'm getting. Well, sometimes it gets a little elevated. Yeah, well, they probably give you medication for that if you're not on medication, but that's the oh, next yeah, thing yeah. you got to pay attention to, okay? But after that, you're going to be all right. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, all right. good Thank luck you. to you. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. I don't remember who I asked to call me next, but... Hi, this is me, Lou. Ah, yeah, I don't remember your question, though. Yes. Uh, the question was, do you feel that I'm going to be able to find a job before the summer starts? Okay, let me ask you this. Who does something with health care? Because that was the first thing I was getting. Is that somebody close to you? Um, no. What I, uh, not, what you, I not you, not you, not you. Somebody close to you or somebody in the family. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, somebody. Unless somebody's going to the hospital because I can confuse the person who works there. Okay, just remember I told you, but it's not going to be bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not me. No. Okay. No. I mean, you know, you probably deal with doctors on behalf of somebody, but it's not you going to the hospital. Okay? Okay. Uh, I feel like saying yes uh, between now and August, because I'm here in August. Okay. Okay. Is that you who write? Do you write? Yeah, that was my major in college. Oh, yeah, because I had no way of knowing. Okay. So, yes, it's yeah. because you have the ability and then, you know, that was your major in college. Yeah, I feel you're going to find something, so don't get discouraged. Okay? Okay. All right, good All right, luck thank to you. you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Okay. Let's see. Barbara Hall says, Milo, the first lady of my church doesn't like me. Can you tell me why? Jealousy, you know, and uh, I don't know. It feels like something you were involved in and she was involved in and she f you were being trying to be helpful and she took you the wrong way. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Just let it go off your back. It's petty stuff. Okay. Oh boy. Great then says Milu, my fourteen year old granddaughter suffers from allergies, occasionally asthma. She is small for her age, has not started puberty. Will she have to have hormonal treatment? I don't know which kind of treatment. But I feel like saying doctors are going to be able to help her. Yeah, I mean, if it's, you know, I don't know, you know, that I don't know anything about hormonal treatment. But I feel like saying she's going to be okay. So work with the doctors, uh, great then. Okay. She'll be all right. Yeah. Work with them. Okay. All right. Lady Lofi says, you know, I started hormone replacement therapy a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if it's going to be next month you will start feeling better, but I feel you will be okay. You will start, you'll start feeling better. So continue working with the doctors. You'll be all right. Okay. There you go, Roxy says, Lady Lo-Fi, if that doesn't help, try wild yam cream, it's helping me. There you go, that sounds right. Okay, Lady Lo-Fi. Yeah, there are some, you know, stuff that we find at the store that works wonders sometimes. So, go for it. Okay, Rexy has another one for great then. They have homeopathic, homeopathic drops online for allergies and asthma that may help her 
one company is one company is called Newton's. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, asthma is, oh my God, I have a friend of mine. You know, I know a lady, she had asthma. I don't know if she still has it. I think she's 102 years old now. I, I was shocked when I spoke to a friend of mine. I haven't heard from her in at least 20 something years. And I spoke to my mutual friend not too long ago. She says, yes, she's 102. Thank God. But she had asthma really bad at some point. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking for questions and also uh, a couple of people ask me questions. Let me let me answer them. Let's see. Okay. Somebody asked me, do I see Trump turning against Marjorie Taylor Greene and publicly come out against her? To me, it's inevitable because as soon as she fails to deliver on just one of his outrageous demands, he will run over her with a Mack truck. I agree with you. She's obviously stupid enough to think that he likes her the same way he's stupid enough to think that he Putin likes him. I agree. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't see him publicly humiliating her, but it feels like to me the uh, things are not going well. And the between Trump, well, as we know, Mike. Mike, Mike Johnson went to meet with Trump yesterday, and like I told you, it was all baloney, and uh, it, it's just that Mike Johnson was trying to figure out how to, Trump would help him so that he doesn't lose his job. He's gotten used to the perks, you know what I mean? And he's doing Trump's bidding for him, but mostly because of Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Trump, you know, basically came, came down in the middle but the message was for Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, to back off. That's basically Trump trying to control his flock, I guess, you know. But it feels like to me, Trump feels like Marjorie Taylor Greene, he's getting tired of Marjorie Taylor Greene's uh, thinking, thank you very much who were documentary, I appreciate it. Thank you, welcome to, 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 to the membership. Yes, uh, it feels like Marjorie, as we know, those things, you know, bothers Trump if you get a little more press than he does, you know, any of those things. He feels Marjorie is trying to, too much, too power hungry, and he, the way she, you know, try to talk to people, bark orders that Trump loves to do. Trump is having a major problem with that. Yes, there is going to be, Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to find herself alone. Well, she's already alone. People in the, in the house, they can't stand her. Trump is the only one she thinks she can lean on. It, what I was getting yesterday afternoon is resentment on Trump. Trump is beginning to resent her. So yes, the person who asked me that question, but I don't feel he's going to do it the way he usually treats others. But there is a break coming, for sure. If it, 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 it feels like to me it already started. 15th, Fred says, hello, dear Milu. My partner of 11 years passed on Halloween. I'm sorry. Do you have any feelings on this? That was Oh, Halloween. Uh, okay, can you please call me 15 fret? Oh, here's the number, sorry.
There's a name that starts the letter P. Who is that? And also there's a little boy here. Okay. Or a son. Hi, this is me, Lou. Hi, me, Lou. This is 15th Fred. Okay, who's Paul or a name that says the letter P? Can you please lower your Can you please your lower the voice because I can hear myself. Please lower your device, okay? Yes, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. Is that better? Yes. Okay, whose name okay. says the letter P, as in Peter or Paul? My last name starts with a P. What's your last name? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I couldn't, you can't make that up. You know what I mean? Okay. Then it's you. Of course. Uh, your partner wants you to know he's okay. And what, the, I'm hearing mom. Where is his mother? Is his mother over there? Uh, his mother? Yeah. I, I'm not sure I understand the question. Where is his mom? Is she alive or she, she passed? This is my partner that passed. Yeah. Where is your partner's mom? Uh, she's living. Okay. Whose name starts with an L? My first name starts with an L. What is your name? Louise. Oh. One second. Uh, did he have a chest issue? Me? No, your partner. That, uh, did he have a chest issue? Yeah. I mean... It was a kidney problem. Uh, you shouldn't have, have told me, but... Okay, heart is connected to the kidney. And... Did, did, was his heart affected in any way, do you know? I mean, when I say heart is connected, the heart is at the center of everything. But right. if we are suffering from kidney failures, chances are our heart is affected because if we have high blood pressure and all those things, you know, it's a systemic issue. You know what I mean? Right. So yes, I do. I'm getting the heart first for some reason. You know what I mean? So that was part of the, of the problem. Well, he wants you to know he's okay. Uh, one second. He wants to say thank you for helping. You know what I mean? And sending... One second. Were you there? There's a lady here. When he I was, was not there. I was not there. Okay, who was the lady in the room? Her daughter. I'm sorry? Her oh, her daughter. daughters. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. There is, okay. Uh, one second. Where is the C name, the name that starts with the letter C? Uh, one of her son's last name starts with C. Okay. All right. Well. Her, her eldest son. Right. Well, your partner wants you to know she's okay. And uh, not to worry about it. Yes, of course, you're going to meet her. It's easy for me to tell you that. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. But uh, she wants everyone to know she's okay. She's in a better place to so be happy for her because kidney failure is no fun. You know what I mean? So, uh, right. 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 and that, what, what happened? She showed me her car. What happened to her car? Uh, her daughter took over her car as a brand new driver. Oh, boy. Um, be because her mom passed, she never wanted to drive the daughter. She was always scared. Then the mother died. The, the girl I'm talking about is like 27 years old. Right. But she never wanted to drive. And when the mom passed, she had to step up. And she took over the mom's car, and now she's driving. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's enjoy. A good thing. It's, it's, it's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, it's, well, uh, that's why she's showing the car. So enjoy, okay? No, she wants everyone to know she's okay, and she wants to thank everyone for helping her through the challenges, and she wants to, you know, uh, let her daughter know she was aware that she was in the room, and just in case anyone has any questions. You know what I mean? You're very welcome, anytime. And your talent and your patience with all of us. Thank you so much. 
so much. You're very welcome yeah, anytime. Thank Hang in there. You very much. You're very welcome. No problem. You're very welcome. Thank Good you luck. Papa, Hang in there. You You're Papa. welcome. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Uh, Carmen Nunali said, we have a friend with cancer. Carmen, can you please call me? We are marketing three. Oh my God. DM says, me and my mom is in the hospital with sepsis after having surgery a couple of weeks ago. Would she be okay? I think she'd be okay. You know, they're going to have this to stay on top. I mean, I'm sure they are on stay on top of it, but she'll be all right. Bow fingers crossed. Please let me know. Okay. Krusty Snapper says, will court go in my favor at the end of this month or not? Thank you, Milu. Uh, I'm not seeing court. That's the problem. Hi, this is Milu. Today. Good, thank you. How are you? What was your question again, please? Sorry about that. I'm, Car I'm Carmen. We have a friend that has... Okay, why am I getting three? Her. Is it stage three? Stage three, probably, yeah. Or four. I don't know now. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't see the person going anywhere, but, you know, yeah, because it's multiple places, it feels like. You know what I mean? It's going to be challenging, but I don't see the person going anywhere. So please fight. Tell, the, tell your friend to fight. Okay? I, I will. We'll, yeah. we'll contact him and let him know. Yeah. Because, oh, it's pretty uh, depressing. I understand. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. Good luck to you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Krusty Snapper, can you please call me? I'm not seeing anything. Chances are, you know, you'll be okay. Or you get a slap in the wrist. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Lenora White says, please, am I going to lose my parents' home and my car? Will my finance get better? Uh, I wish I could help my friend. The best thing to do is talk to the bank. I hope if you stay proactive and you're working with the bank, yes, you know, you will be able to recover. The reason why I'm saying this is because, oh, God, you already have the house. Make a deal, do something. Okay, Lenora, and also seek, don't hold this and try to do everything yourself. Look for uh, ways, people that can help you, people with knowledge, okay? Talk to the banks, they'll, they, they, you know, they, they'll work, they will, they'll work with you, you know. So, hang in there. Okay. Jasmine is asking, do you see me meeting a, a romantic partner soon? Uh, I feel like saying yes. There's potential for two people here between now and June, July, at least two people. Okay? There'll be more, but two I feel will pick your interest. Okay? So enjoy. Okay.
Sherry uh, says, hi, Milo, my sister Debbie is having terrible stomach pain. Tell her to go to the doctors right away. Okay, she had a carcinoid stomach tumor and also in the past. Is cancer back in the past? I, 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 okay, I didn't even read the cancer part, but I feel like saying she has to go right away, okay? I'm not getting cancer, but also I can do it too. So please, I feel she's going to be okay, but she has to go to the doctor's ASAP. Okay. Spicy Erwin says, I have two procedures on 24th. Will they be okay? Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah. I feel it's going to be all right. Work with your doctors. That's what's important. Okay. Let's see. Lady Lofa is saying, I mean, do you see military conflict between Iran and Israel? That's what I was talking about a little, you know, at the beginning. Yeah, but it's not going to, nothing is going to happen. Hi, this is Milu. Hello, Milu. Hi. What was your question again? I'm sorry. Uh, the court. Look, I'm not at seeing court. What does it have to do with car? Why am I getting car? Does it have to do with the car? With the what, car okay, no. what's, what does the car, what, what's the, because I'm not seeing court, so you're probably getting with something fine or minor or something. What, what, what is it about? Okay. Uh, well, we have a witness and we had somebody basically lie to police that was squatting in my property, my uh, uh, rental me, property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're gonna put the person out. I, you know, I'm probably probably nothing or a small fine. They're not gonna find you for that. You know, you gotta be careful though because depending on where you are, where are you in New York? No, Florida. Oh, Florida, you're not playing. Uh, the person may get a fine or something because I'm 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 not, you're not gonna lose. No, what, what happened was they they told police that I assaulted them. Of course, they're going to tell police that. I, I just go. You have a lawyer, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Of course, they're going to tell police you assaulted them. Do they have proof? Do they, have any, they don't have anything, right? Uh, yeah. No, I wouldn't worry about it. They're looking for ways to, for them to stay there. And the judges are up on them, okay? okay. Uh, it, if anything, okay. they'll probably, you'll probably pay a small fine or something, but I, I don't think so. I doubt it because I'm not no. seeing it. I'm not getting, I'm not seeing the court. If I'm not seeing it, nothing is happening. Okay? Keep okay. me posted. Thank you so much, You're very welcome. Good thank luck. You. Thank You're you. welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you very much, 15 Fred, for our generosity and the super chat. I appreciate it. 15 Fred says, thank you for your comforting word. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Sorry for your loss. Okay. <laughs> Best prediction says, when will my, our daughter get rid of negative people with negative energies and bad intentions around her? Maturity. Uh, Best prediction, can you please call me? Here's my number. What I feel like saying is you're going to have to outsmart her. How old is she? That's why I'm calling. Because it feels like it's maturity. She's, something is going to happen and she's just going to, you know, uh, not wanting to be bothered. She will change. Kimberly Keith is asking, will I get a large sum of money anytime this month? My friend, I wish I could tell you yes. I'm not seeing a large sum of money. Okay.
Uh, one second. Princess, I said, should my perfect woman soon? <laughs> well, I don't see him going anywhere. So I feel like saying there is... I feel he will propose. I don't feel it's going to be as soon as, like, you know, next week. I don't know what you mean by soon. I'm seeing him with a ring, so he will propose. You know what? Take your time. Don't worry. Don't rush things, okay? You know, you're better off continue enjoying the relationship, no pressure. I feel like saying it's coming. Don't worry about it. All right? Yes, please DM. Let us know about your mom. Okay. Let's see. Louis Carl says, I'm going to do see my health improve soon. Louis, can you please call me? Who's got a heart issue? Why am I getting hot? I feel yes, you, you get better. I don't know where you are, so I'll just so I answer your question. Best prediction. She'll be all right, best prediction. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you put... Oh, she's 26. Oh, boy, yeah. Uh, she will change completely. Uh, but she has to be careful because she's entering her first Saturn return. Okay. I'm sure you're talking to her, so. Hi, this is Milu. Hello. Hi. Thank you, Milu. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, who's... Uh, about my daughter. Oh, you're talking about... Who is this? I, I didn't... Best prediction? Yeah, she's going to change. I wouldn't worry about... Oh, well, you know, talk to her, let her know. Uh, and she can Google it, okay? Saturn... We cannot, we cannot talk to her. My husband is scared to talk to her because... He thinks that she's going to pull even farther away from him. Yeah. She has a group. Of, she has a group of friends that are completely. Um, right. She's twenty six. She, she's twenty six now, but we've been in this journey with her since she went to college. Right. And started, and yeah, it, it's been a few years, but especially the last couple of years, it's been really bad because um, my husband family got very close to her right. and they don't have very good intentions and even my my husband knows that but he doesn't know how to talk to her then if he doesn't without. know how to talk to her then the best thing is leave her alone because the more you, tr you see, your husband has a point but if it's already not on, on you know that a dicey situation then you know if she comes and talk to you then you can tell her but you know, have you... Now, I feel she's going to change. Something is going to happen, and she's going to say, I don't want to be with the, around these people anymore. Just hope it's not too bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's hope it doesn't involve the police. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? She may oh, go to a party. Yeah, and you see, some, yeah, some, someone told me she'll have a spiritual trans, transformation, and she will go back yeah. a little bit the, the way she was, but we don't know when, and we are like... Uh, it really changed our lives because right. you know, it really breaks the family apart when someone changes so much. Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, she she should go to counseling. That's number one. Number one. Number two, she uh, she's going through her first Saturn return, so that's a very challenging period. So yeah, she will change, but it's going to take time. I mean, a little longer, not that long. A couple of years, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good luck to you. You welcome. Bye. Hi, this is Milo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay.
Let's see. Somebody, I asked somebody to call me. The person called, but I was on the phone. I couldn't pick it up. Mariel is asking me to see my son and I repair our relationship soon. I miss him. Uh, it's going to take, I don't know what you mean by soon. If you mean next month, no. It's like exactly between now and next year. Okay. Sorry about that. You know, it seems like he wants to, uh, you know, it seems like he's young. He wants to show he's a man. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Thank you very much, Susan Rotella for your generosity and the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, the rule is once I close, I, I know I asked somebody to call me, but the person didn't call, but I couldn't pick up the phone. Come back Monday, and I will, you know, I don't remember, but just remind me, I told you to, to ask me on Monday. Uh, if anyone would like a reading for me, the link to my website is below the video, psychicmilu.com, or you can send me an email or email, yes, it takes me in a couple of days to answer sometimes. Or call me or text and text me on my YouTube number. We can negotiate a time that's good for both of us to talk. Or you can make uh, use, go to my website, psychicmilu.com. You can do that too. If you like the channel, please subscribe and also don't forget to tap on the notification bell. Please give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Again, everyone, thank you for coming. I appreciate your support and for putting up with the commercials, ads. So thank you all. I will see you on Monday, same time. Till then, bye.